about fascinating connections of chess with many things. Computers, history, education, as Gail said, and many more things, and I will also try to answer some questions from you later on. But before that, let me introduce a very extraordinary person. He is only 24, but many experts consider him already one of the best chess players ever. And when we are talking about chess, that means we are talking about more than 15 centuries of history. So he is one of the best chess players in 15 centuries. He is currently number one in three rankings, classical chess, rapid chess, and blitz chess. I will uh, talk <clears throat> much more in detail later on about his biography, which is really fascinating. But now, let's call the world champion Magnus Carlsen. <clears throat> <laughs> I think we have to call I hope, more. I hope he didn't get afraid about <laughs> what he's going, going to do now. <clears throat> the competition is scaring him, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Magnus, as the ambassador said a few minutes ago, you are a very big fan of Real Madrid, but we are now in Barcelona. <laughs> Could that be a problem for you? Yes, I don't feel at home here. <laughs> <laughs> but if I remember well, in one of your visits to Barcelona, <clears throat> you had to control yourself somehow. Can you remember that? Yes, uh, I was here in 2012 for uh, the what was practically the uh, final of uh, the season in Spain and Real Madrid won 2 1, and uh, the stadium was deathly silent, so I like that. <laughs> you had to control yourself because Real Madrid won that match, I'm afraid, yeah? Yes, I, I, there was no noise, so I was wondering whether I should go. Like <laughs> uh, yeah. When you arrived finally to your hotel room, what happened? Uh, then it was already over, so... <laughs> okay, Magnus, I remember you about one month and a half ago in the Netherlands, in the final press conference after your victory in one of the strongest tournaments of this year. But you look very unsatisfied. You look unsatisfied with your play. I will say even that you look sad after winning such a very important tournament. Is that meaning that you are a perfectionist? Yes. Um, I, uh, it also means that I have a very short memory, so I only remember in my last game, and if my last game was not good, then I'm not happy. And your approach to chess training is a very peculiar one. Instead of having a very rigid discipline, I mean, eight hours per day, of training like other top players do. Uh, you don't do, do, do this. Uh, you prefer just be thinking about chess most of the time. Can you explain how do you do this? Yes, I think, and then often when I think, I think about chess. That's what I do. <laughs> but uh, I also have uh, periods with more intensive training uh, and so on. But I think it's also important sometimes to try and distance yourself a little bit because uh, um, chess after all it's not possible to to solve so if you uh, delve into it all the time it you may lose some of your creativity I see but then that means that for instance when you are walking in the street you are thinking and even solving some very difficult chess position that means that you have a photographic memory or it is better to say that chess is for you like a mother tongue or something like this. Yes, I would say that it's more like chess is, uh, is a language. And it's, it's very rare that I'm able to 
to solve any major problems um, while you know just thinking but I think uh, all thinking it, it, it helps in, in the long run and your approach to computers is also a very peculiar one because most of your opponents what they do is they are preparing the games with very strong computers they can be able to play the first 15 or 20 moves even by heart i mean automatically very quickly instead of that i think you are using very powerful computers to take your opponents out of their preparation how do you do this well, my my thought process is that um, i should be able to play chess better than the others and my method of preparation should be based on this so um, that in in the preparation uh, I try to reach positions where I can use my my brain basically so I think uh, it's it's fun to um, compete uh, you know in with my opponents in, in comparing memory uh, but it's not very useful for my chess. Now you're 